me one of these. Oh my gosh, you know what, Ms. Shodine? We are really pressed for time. We're going to have to do this in about five minutes. Has this ever happened to any of you? Sure. So I just took a deep breath and I said, so how was your weekend? And he goes, oh, it was fine. It was fine. It was very productive. I had a lot of things I had to do around the house. It wasn't too exciting. I said, gosh, you know, the same thing happened to me. I've been doing so much traveling. I haven't had any time at all to catch up on my laundry. I had this big pile of clothes. I just pulled it out of the dryer. I threw it on the living room floor. I figured I'd kick back, fold some clothes, and watch some TV. And I understand that you're really into bass fishing, so I made it a point to watch this show. I'm sure you've heard of it. It was called Bass Masters. And he was like, <gasps> like his whole facial expressions changed. And he goes, you watched Bass Masters. And I said, yeah, I sure did. He goes, this last Sunday, you watched Bass Masters. I said, yes, sir, I sure did. He goes, it was a double Bass Masters weekend. I'm like, I know. I caught both episodes. <laughs> Next thing I know, he starts telling me how it's his dream to someday go out fishing and be the guest fish guy with Jimmy Houston. And then he starts telling me how he got his BASS card. Next thing I know, he whips out his day tamer. He goes, young lady, have you ever been before? I said, no, sir, I haven't. He said, I am taking my family to an upcoming novice tournament. Would you like to join us? I'm like, woo, sign me up. I cannot even wait to go. So finally say, gosh, Rick, you know, I know you're really pressed for time, but I do have some ideas on how I might be of service to your company. And he said, okay, darling, hold on a minute. And he got up and he closed the door. I went back to my original 30 minutes.